The best tutorial for the Google Chat. Uh, in this step by step tutorial, guys, I'm going to be showing you how to use Google Chat. I'm not pretty sure if this is like the best tutorial, but yet I'm going to try to explain to you this step by step so you can now be convinced to work here into Google Chat. So you have worked with Zoom, you have worked with WhatsApp, you have worked with Skype, you might be knowing that it's a little bit awkward to work and chat at the same time, but Google Chat can be really helpful for doing that. So what you want to do, guys, in order to start with me, I'm going to be showing you guys, first of all, how to uh, get into the Google Chat if you are now inside your Google account in my Gmail, as you can see, appears into the upper side. And if I typed mail.google.com, it's going to be appearing in the fast forward chat. And now, boom, we're now inside the conversation. Now, let's talk about the very first thing that you need to understand in order to work here in Google Chat, which is actually the conversation. Now, here into the conversation, if I scroll my mouse and here it says chat, I can click into the option that says start my chat. I can click and start my new space or I can create a Google Meet. A Google Meet is like a video chat, but it's a little bit more professional than a WhatsApp code or a Instagram video chat. Because I believe it's going to be really, really awesome to start working here into Google Chat and not having to use more than just two or three or more applications to do everything inside just one place. Google is like the right place to get started, to be honest with you guys. Now, if I go into the very chat section, I'm going to go into plus. And here, what I can see is all the people who are now inside my space, my Gmail, all the people who I've interacted with before. If you don't know how to add this, I can strongly suggest you to start your very first space in order to get started with more community people, with your team members, with your friends, with your family, whatever. So I'm going to go into the plus button of spaces. And here I can create my very first space. I'm going to hit into create a space. And now I'm going to type, let's say, community members. And here into the description, this is just an example. And of course, I believe like the best part is that I can customize this with a few emojis. So I can type something that can be a little bit more descriptive. For example, this star and enter an email of the person of your group. So if I type, for example, the example at gmail.com, it's going to be added automatically. So once you type the people you want to invite to your space, hit into create and boom your space should be created now right away so here into this space is going to be seeing all the space that you have here and here into the chat is going to be like just right away so we can just jump right into chat and boom it's going to be popular up this section where we can just start to work with the actual google chat now as you can see we do have different options into this arrow so I can see the Google Workspace tools, I can see the add emoji, I can see some GIFs, I can see some upload files, and I can start a video meeting if I do want to. What I think is really, really awesome with the Google Chat is the implementation of the Workspace. So the Google Workspace, uh, if I clicked into the plus, I can choose to add a file drive, a calendar invite, and much more which I think like if you have a Google Sheet account, if you have a Google Sheet document, if you have a Google Doc document and so on and on, you can just import that into the chat and you can send it directly into the Google section. And boom, it's going to be added like right away. So if I click into that chat, it's going to be popping up the actual uh, document. So really, really easy. I can go into share. And where it says loading, I'm going to be changing that from general access into anyone with linked like this and hit into anyone with linked can view comment and edit i'm going to go for editor go into copy linked hit into done and then I'm actually good to go even i can start a video chat inside the google docs so the google chat is going to be merged with all the workspace of google which i think is like a really lifesaver if you are actually working with your google account whether that would be a gmail Google Drive, even YouTube, because I think all of them are merged into just one place, not enough spaces to be working on. Now, I can assign some tasks inside chat. If I clicked into tasks, you're going to be seeing that there's all the Google tasks that I can assign to different people inside my team members. So I can go for at space tasked and here I have the title, let's say, for example, do your laundry like that. And here into the details, what I can do is to explain the details of my task and now i can go into the date let's say by tomorrow or the day after tomorrow we can set a time we can get hit into okay and the best part is that i can assign this into a gmail account like this and hit into add and just like that this is paste task should now be corrected and as you can see if i go all my way down here i can see the view in chat so if i 
click this option, it's going to be popping this section of the chat section of the community members. And here it says, do your laundry, explain details of my task. So I can click in here and I can even choose the reaction button. Like, all right, I, I understand like that. And boom, there we go. Now, uh, later, what I can do is just to choose this task. And if I finish that, more completed. And boom, all the tasks can be completed. It can be sent in the popping of the completed section. So we can start working with something much more else. Now let's talk about the meeting. Now the meeting is a section where we can create some video chat into the Google chat. So if you scroll all your way here, you're going to be seeing the meet section so I can join a meeting or create a new meeting. So I can start by sharing my new meeting here. I can set my invite and I can start this right now. So automatically it's going to be popping up the video chat section where I can just choose to send the invitation. I'm going to copy this link. I'm going to click into the X mark. And I'm going to go here into my chat section and I'm going to paste that into my space that is in here. I'm going to hit into the enter mark and everyone who clicked in here is going to be added into my section of my beta chat. Now, if you are part, you are like the administrator of the community, you want to see like the history of everything that has been happening since you created your actual uh, live section. So uh, you want to active the threads. So the threads, you can see that into the upper side, into the right side of your document, which appears in here. I want to active my threads. And here's going to be appearing all the section of my active threads. For example, this guy created a task for this guy. So here are the following. And here's the thread where I can choose now from follow and to following. That's totally depending on what I do want to see into the threads. So I'm going to hit into the X mark if I don't want to see this anymore mentions to me only if you want to see only stuff that I mentioned for yourself and after that get into the X mark and lastly if I go and scroll all my way here I'm going to be seeing that now I have my calendar I have my keep I have my tasked and I have my contact. So instead of just focusing into one place of the workflow of the workspace of Google, which that would be the Google chat, this is uh, something that can be helpful to merge like more than one or more than two applications into just one place. If I am using the Google chat section and I want to open, for example, my calendar, it's going to be popping up from the right part. And what I can do is to open this into a new tab. So take a look into what's going to be happening here. Automatically, it's going to be appearing the task section. And I need to do, of course, all of this. And if I hit into get add on, what I want to do is to look out for the chat section. So here I have all my section of the Zoom. I have the Zoom section. I have the Lucy chart. I have the box. I have more. I have more workspaces that I can add inside the Google Calendar. So with that being said, guys, we have reached now into the very end of the video of the Google chat. You can even do, uh, you can even change your set status. If you click in here and you can add a status and hit into done. So Google chat is like really, really useful if you are working with Google workspaces, for example, the Google Docs, for example, the Google Drive, for example, Google Calendar and so on and on. But well, that will be all for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching the video. Hopefully this was very useful and hopefully you can be working here into Google Chat. It's a very great place to get started as for team members, for yourself, as a group, community, familiar and much more. So thank you once again for watching the video, guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time.